had some of that early yesterday, didn't we, with the big lead from Jody? Yeah, it was just a little bit of a tentative stroke. We saw her make that putt on six yesterday, and that really, I think, jump-started the rest of her round and kind of settled her down. That sounded like she caught it really well. But it just, there's so much soap away and left to right. Movement down through the shot, a little bit of grass behind the ball, and yeah, that came out kind of fluffed. She actually got a little more overspin on it, ran out a little more than I thought it would. She put that tee shot in a very nice position, and that is a really good approach from Danielle, so she's got a chance for a birdie trying to keep creep closer to that lead. At the 12th, Danielle Kang second. It's a little bit of a false front, about five short of this hole. I want to make sure you can get past that. Maybe. She said she was going to attack today. Doesn't care about a top five, a top 10, just wants to win. Now, Andrea Lee on the same score, okay? You're going with a four hybrid. A little harder to hit the green when you're coming in with more club and from a further distance, but that string is a string. Oh, that's really good. That's so good. Mm. Just all over the flag. Ball well below her feet. That's a seven iron on a good line. Needs to get up a little. Maybe just a fraction heavy. Mm. Georgia Hall driven it down the right side of 15. We talked about some of the holes coming in where you can drive it into a bit of trouble. Not sure if she was in the bunker there or not. There is a bit of room between the two bunkers. A very good shot, regardless. Below the right, hole. yeah, you don't want to be above the hole on any of these uh, greens. Let's go to 12. And Yuka Sasso after the drop shot at 11. Players in this position right now need to just be aggressive from here on out. Take dead aim at just about everything, because once players get past that 11th hole, the golf course... You've got to ensure that you get it up past the steep front half of the screen. Yeah, that'll do. It's almost the identical putt to the one we just saw Danielle Kang miss. She it definitely seemed to have fooled her. Now, just two back. At the 16th, the second for Georgia Hall. Ah, lovely, using the backstop. We've seen players struggle to get it close to this whole location, especially when it was there early in the week. There's only five paces left. And it starts sloping off uh -huh. to the back. Ooh, pulled this. Oh, nice shot. It's away with it. Judging by that conversation they were just having to land somewhere around pin high, there is a big slope behind the hole that can bring it back towards Be the good. hole. Come on. Get up. Get up. She loves it. Oh. Will it stay? Oh. Here it comes. Daniel Kang's going to have a putt for her second eagle of the day and a putt to tie the lead. Over at the 14th, this is Shi Yu Lin just off the green for birdie. Daniel Kang has an eagle putt in the moment. Pretty quick down the hill here. Little right to left. Mm -hmm. Third birdie of the day for Shi Yu Lin. Ten under par, four holes to go, and four back. No, I didn't like it. Fanned it out to the right. Oh, she's going to get away with it. Yeah, it's going to give her a putt. Yeah, fairly straightforward pitch here. Should just break a hair to her left. Be looking to make it here. She says might have needed to make it. She'll tap that in for birdie with a move to 11 under. We go to 15. And Daniel Kang, second shot. 32 yards, doesn't love it. OK, 
Okay. Outside chance of another birdie. Find it. Birdie on our last five holes. Number out there. Just a moment ago, the third shot for Caroline English missed the green right. The player who's trying to get inside the top one oh! in that race to the CME Globe, and that is a birdie to get to eight under par, and that actually projects her at 99. And now Shadoff. Wasting no time. Yeah, I agree with you. This is a little easier shot because it's all uphill. She didn't have to worry about any kind of break on that pitch shot. She looks like she's going high. Oh, oh. she came off the road, but it worked out exquisitely. Oh, that was tremendous. She's been focusing on trying not to think as much once she chooses her line. Just set up, commit, and stroke. Typically stands pretty close to these shots and picks the heel of the wedge up just a hair. That was beautiful. There is a decent amount of green to work with. She doesn't have to worry too much about spin. She tug it a fraction? Yep, just a little bit. At least got it back there relatively close to the hole. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Into a slope that's towards her. Sounded good. Oh, look at this. Fantastic. <laughs> That'll do. Third for Danielle Kang. Up the hill. Good news, there isn't a huge amount of movement in this green. Um, she's going to have that to save par. And with Rito and Jody Ewart shut off at 16 struggling, that putt becomes. Jody Ewart shut off a very interested spectator up right of the green. is a third for Danielle Kang. Um, a bit of a depression. See, even on that shot, she tried to lift the heel up a little bit. Just to have less of the leading edge going through the grounds. It was pretty well done, especially from that lie. Unlucky to end up there. Came up just shy of Allie Ewing in Cincinnati. Charlie Hull last week in Texas. This for a closing birdie. It's her number one goal to finish this season with the win. It's not going to happen this week. But she's playing tremendous golf, and she still has a few opportunities left in this season to get it done. Not completely level lie, actually, ball a little bit below her feet. Slightly downhill lie as well. Went after that short iron hard. Not too hard. I would definitely have to say, Tom, her heart is racing, but on the outside, she always looks very stoic and very cool. Good looking wedge shot right here. Yeah, no problem there. Yuka Sasso's third, the par five. Pretty high flop shot here. Wow, look at how much height she generated on that one. And Paula Rito, here's her third. She has to skirt the edge of the limbs of the tree that's to her, in front of her to the right. Should just be a good full wedge. She's pulled this. Not exactly getting it up in tight. She avoided a lot of the divot holes uh, where yeah. people have laid up. She's fine. Yeah, good level lie, nice angle to the right hole location. A good shot, but she needed perfection. Two-horse race, it was shot off by a nose to win for the first time on the LPGA Tour, and she does it wire to wire. She is the LPGA Meta Heel Champion.